the sweat co-op a co-op where me and four other sweats sweat on a completely new profile to see how fast we can progress with the no contraband one quick announcement i want to make is that i'm actually going to start streaming on twitch and some of this video was actually streamed on twitch so if you want to watch those streams follow my twitch or join my discord where i'll be pinging whenever i stream Welcome back boys to another episode of the sweat co-op. I haven't said that in a while, but I'm happy to be back So we left off a pretty long time ago, but it doesn't really matter uh, All you really need to know is I have a decent set of gear and I have most of the boring early stuff done in the game So now we can get into making a bunch of money and then getting some of the new items that I missed since the last updates but before that I'm actually going to be doing the same subscriber thing that i did on my main but over here so for every subscriber we're going to be placing five diamond blocks so i'm going to start it right now with these five and for every subscriber uh we're going to make this tower bigger and bigger and i guess we'll see how big it grows so one thing you should be able to see is in my purse i have about 100 mil so now i have exactly 100 mil and uh just to start us off and get us some money again because this is from uh what is it, before I stopped playing on this profile, I'm just gonna sit here for an hour and just see how much money I can get through Bizarre Flipping. I did a little bit off camera before to see if I have decent understanding of it, and I kinda do, but uh, I haven't played in a while, to be honest, so I don't know how much I'm gonna make in an hour, but as long as I can make more than like three or five mil an hour, I'm gonna be happy. So yeah, let's just go for an hour straight and see how much money we can make. Okay, so the one hour has passed. I finished flipping, so this is all that I have left to claim. And once I claim it, it looks like we made about 3.8 million an hour, which is okay. I feel like I could do better. To be fair, I haven't played in a while, so uh, I am going to be a little rusty, but 3.8 mil is good enough for me. And uh, yeah, let's go and continue on to something else. Okay, I think I kind of know what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm going to head over to the banker, just take out all the money that I've left in here. So now that I have this, I'm going to go and I'll head over to Elizabeth. And I actually... Uh, need a god potion because I haven't put one on in addition to that there is some gear that I want to get so I want to get myself an aurora set and we'll s you'll see why soon I don't need the helmet because I can just use like dark goggles or whatever goggles I have from kata and other than that oh that was just a really good deal whatever not that good well and then I'll just get a decent Aurora set, hopefully with the mana pool. So if I just use this, I can search for mana pool to be on it. And uh, that shouldn't cost me too much. So this one right here is less than a mil. So we have a chest plate here, mana pool two chest plate for 1.5 mil it looks like. That's good. Grab that. And then we need a pair of leggings, which it looks like there's one right here. Two mil, uh, could be worse, I'll take it. So that was about five mil for this entire set. So that's gonna be nice. And we can grab dark goggles from here, I think, because people are probably selling them for cheap. Yeah, let's just grab one with necrotic on it already. Whatever, I don't care if this is overpaying. I don't feel like going and getting it. So uh, yeah, let's go and let's put Necrotic on this as well. Just need a three, so let's buy three. Then head over to the Reforge Anvil over here. Boom, now we have Mana Pool on this. Mana Pool Aurora set with Shadow Goggles. So that should give us a decent bit of mana. We're at 1,370. And the reason I wanted this mana is because I was thinking of uh, grabbing myself an Aurora Staff. I want to try this out. I don't think many people remember this, but I'm pretty sure it could be pretty good for grinding some Zealots if I want to do that. I don't know if I'll be able to do enough damage, but uh, 
let me just try it out. I, I'm gonna buy it. 2.4 mil, not that, that pretty cheap to be honest. And uh, yeah, I wanna see how much damage I do with this. So let's take God Potion and let's head over to here. Okay, so we're at the zombies. First, I want to try with Crimson, because I still have my Crimson set. So I'm going to try with my Emerald Blade and around 100 mil. That's going to give us 66k, so we still do decent. We can still easily one-shot Zealots. But next, let's try uh, this setup. Okay, now we have the Necrotic set of Aurora, and we have an Aurora Staff. Dang, this uh, this does way more. Dang, I didn't think it would do more than my r left click. And I just bought this setup for like less than 10 mil, this entire setup. I And I have like very little talismans. Yeah, that's crazy. And it uses like no mana. It uses 10 mana, so it's nothing. It's basically just the cooldown. So I can just like run around and like one shot a bunch of zealots. That's okay. Let's let's go and try this on actual zealots now. Okay, now we're just in the normal um, dragon's nest, and yep, I can still easily one shot all of these. And if I want to switch, I can always switch to my sword, which I think should give me a pretty easy one shot most of the time. So yeah, I can pretty easily grind it. And now let's go and check out in the, the hideout, the new place. That's 65k, but because this does so much damage, it doesn't matter. I still one shot it. Pretty sure actually that these need a combat 24 requirement. Grind your combat level. You can pretty easily one shot zealots. Like this takes very little effort. So yeah, I guess I can just do this and get myself an eye pretty easily. It, it definitely shouldn't take very long. The only thing I kind of dislike is that the cooldown is a little bit annoying, but it's really not that bad. Uh, I feel like if I had a more private lobby, it would get a lot more annoying considering I'd have so many to kill. But right now it's not bad. And I would barely be able to kill these with Crimson. Let me let me check. With Crimson, I am barely killing these. Like, yeah, barely. Like a few thousand damage over it. But with this setup, I am comfortably killing them. I wonder, like, how many pieces do I even need for me to actually kill these? Even just one piece, and I can comfortably kill this. Even... What about just the goggles? Okay, with just the goggles, I just barely manage to not do it. With even just boots, I'm able to one-shot these. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, okay, so I don't believe this, but I just checked the wiki, and there's no requirement on this weapon. So, it's basically like a new FOT. Because the Flower of Truth has no requirement, even though you need to be in 4-6 to get it. So a lot of people use it as like a weapon, like in the early game to speedrun, if they know how to make money. And I guess you could do the same thing with the Aurora Staff, because this should definitely have a requirement of Combat 24. So I don't know why this doesn't have a requirement. You can literally use Dark Goggles, maybe like get yourself a Y set, or literally a Glacite set. Let me try with my Glacite set. If I go and I switch to my Glacite set instead, I can s do a decent bit of damage. But I I don't know, these aren't Reforged and Necrotic, to be fair. But even if you use like something like a Y set, you'll probably be able to quite easily one-shot. Or you could even maybe use an Ender set Reforged to Necrotic, because you get the double stats. But yeah... I think this could be like a really easy early game grinding zealots if you want to. I think I'm just going to grind a few zealots like this for a bit and just see how many eyes I can get. Or if I can even get an eye because usually my luck is terrible. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to grind until at least one eye and then uh, we'll see. Oh, what the heck? I was just telling my editor I was going to grind for one eye and I just got one. What? What the heck? I guess I got it instantly. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, okay, so we got an eye. I mean, eye prices are kind of dead right now because all the updates with the new 
bruisers over here and the ability to actually upgrade your zealot chances so the prices are kind of dead but it's still a nice quick 500k right there i'm gonna take that but uh if you go here you can see that you can actually increase your zealot luck or whatever so i'll probably do that if i want to keep grinding eyes and i kind of do it, it it's pretty fun but i could probably make more money if i did something like just do a lot of flipping but at the end of the day does money really matter if it's not fun to play i think i'm gonna grind some eyes maybe and eventually i want to upgrade from just this like stupid aurora staff actually upgrade into something better yeah i've actually been hearing about a new weapon called the glacial scythe which is an upgrade to uh the frozen scythe and this is supposed to be way better than the spirit scepter in dungeons so this might be the play like i can afford it right now but i think i'm gonna stick with just this aurora staff because i haven't gone into dungeons at all yeah i haven't even done kata i i i have done no dungeons so when i do want to get into dungeons i can definitely buy that so i'm going to keep at least 50 mil so when i get into dungeons i can do that because my co-op member he already has a floor 7 completion so you can help me with all that stuff and i can get so yeah might be looking like mage is the play for this profile so yeah oh i got one where is it oh there it is that's pretty nice that didn't take that long and doing this like swapping actually makes it pretty fast and i just swap my gear so i have like a mix of the mana and the damage and uh that seems to be allowing me to just swap with uh the kills and i also have remnants of the eyes because i don't want to lose all my coins so uh yeah that's been pretty pretty nice yeah so i think we did a decent amount of progress for today and uh yeah i think that's going to be it for this video thank you guys for watching uh the first episode back and uh i'll see you guys later Bye.